Call one differentiation two. We can use differentiation to find the gradient of a curve at any point. The power drops down the front and multiplies, and we take one away from the power. Here we have y equals 3x. Now I don't have any power, so I need to remember that x and x to the power 1 are exactly the same. So now I can differentiate. The 1 drops down the front and multiplies, and 1 take away 1 is 0. Next I need to remember that anything to the power of 0 equals 1. So the gradient dy by dx is 1 times 3, which is 3. And in general, x's by themselves disappear, leaving just a number. So y equals 6x, the gradient dy by dx is just 6. For y equals 2x, the gradient dy by dx just equals 2. For y equals 8x, the gradient dy by dx just equals 8. And this makes sense if we look at the graph of y equals 3x. If we differentiate y equals 3x, it just becomes dy by dx is 3. That just means the gradient's 3 here, the gradient's 3 here, the gradient's 3 here. The gradient's 3 everywhere on the line, and it doesn't matter what x is, which is what you'd expect for the graph of y equals 3x. If I have negative indices, the rules are exactly the same. The power drops down the front and multiplies, and I take away 1 from the power. Minus 2 drops down the front to multiply, and minus 2, take away 1, is minus 3. If I have a number in front, the rules are still the same. The minus 7 drops down the front to multiply. And minus 7, take away 1, is minus 8. So the gradient dy by dx ends up being minus 14, x to the minus 8. As usual, if I want to find out the gradient of a specific point of x, for example, x equals 1 on the graph of y equals x to the minus 2, I write down the equation of the curve, differentiate it, the minus 2 drops down the front to multiply, and minus 2, take away 1, is minus 3. Now if I want to find out exactly what it is at x equals 1, I substitute in x equals 1. And the gradient dy by dx ends up being minus 2. Sometimes they won't give it in such an easy format. You must change to an x to the something format before you differentiate. y equals 1 over x squared. I can't differentiate it, I need to change it into y equals x to the minus 2, and now I can differentiate it. Minus 2 drops down the front, minus 2, take away 1, is minus 3. y equals 5 over x cubed. I can't differentiate it in this format, I need to change it into y equals 5x to the minus 3. Notice that the 5 was on the top at the start, and it's got to stay on the top. Minus 3 drops down the front to multiply. Minus 3, take away 1, is minus 4. 
and the gradient dy by dx ends up being minus 15 x to the power minus 4. y equals 1 over 2x to the power 4. This is the same as y equals a half x to the power minus 4. The 2 is on the bottom at the start and it's got to stay on the bottom. Then I'll differentiate. Minus 4 drops down the front to multiply. And minus 4, take away 1, is minus 5. And the gradient dy by dx ends up being minus 2x to the minus 5. If I have fractional indices, the rules are exactly the same. Differentiate, the power drops down the front and multiplies, and a half take away 1 is minus a half. y equals x to the power of a third. Differentiate, a third drops down the front and multiplies, and a third take away 1 is minus 2 thirds. y equals x to the minus quarter. Minus quarter drops down the front to multiply. And minus a quarter, take away one, is minus five quarters. Again, they won't necessarily always give it in such an easy format. You must change to an x to the something format before you differentiate. y equals the fourth root of x. I've got to change this into y equals x to the quarter and now I can differentiate. A quarter drops down the front and multiplies. A quarter take away one is minus three quarters. y equals five over the third root of x. I need to turn this into y equals 5x to the minus a third. Notice that the 5 is on top at the start and it's got to stay on top. Then I differentiate. Minus a third drops down the front and multiplies. Minus a third take away 1 is minus 4 thirds. The gradient dy by dx ends up being minus 5 thirds x to the power of minus 4 thirds. We can use differentiation to find the gradient of a curve at any point. The power drops down the front and multiplies and we take 1 away from the power.